They, they have enough burst damage with that lean. The queen's okay, too. The funny part is, they could also uh, do like... Ah, so they, oh! they do alone. Jabs could get Blink Strike at level 2 to force a kill, and in fact, he does have that skilled up. But look at the creep wave here. He's getting doubled up if he goes for it. Here we go. Miracle might die here. He's going to run towards the creep wave to get a little bit of creep support, but unfortunately, I don't think he'll be alive here. Pops a magic stick, pops a fairy fire, enchant totem onto 2. The dagger won't be coming through. Jabs grabs the first blast. Do is make sure that he has a safe lane to get that quick shadow blade. I'm not sure how Black will do here without that, that free farm. The trade-off though is that Ice 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 is getting the, the free 1v1 matchup. Arcane Boots is queued up. And I wonder what his first major item will be. Will it be a, a straight Blink Dagger rush? Hold that thought in the mid lane here. They are gonna making a three-man gank onto the Shaker. The roll coming through, picking up Miracle behind the Fissure. And now the Shard's gonna come through, but Jazz blinks right over it. Yeah, it was, it was a nice attempt. And you know, you can see a little bit of synergy here as well. Miracle continuing to put the screws here to Jabs. You know, one other thing, there's been a lot of these big creep waves is big rotation comes in, the maledic damage is there, and they're getting kind of cute with it before. Shaker struggle starts. He just needs to find that 10 minute window to actually get the farm. Unfortunately, average game time on this patch is like, what, 26, 27 minutes? Yeah. That 10 minutes of time might never come. Uh, it also depends on what mind control's item's gonna be. Uh-oh, XY, he's stuck in no man's land here. The shards will be going down soon, and he actually is, like you mentioned, going into those arcane boots. It looks like they're not going to be able to punish it. Uh, and actually, I say, nice. he's the one who's going to be in this area now as well. Miracle, uh, Miracle he, he didn't have level 6 on Magnus. Might have just been able to walk away from that one, but ends up going down nonetheless. Another kill, 26 HP. Black, he is a little bit trepidatious Ooh. about approaching this, and one more tick from the Maledict. It yep. is going to be enough. They find that kill. Level of man into the face of faceless. I mean, are they contained? They're down five kills, but they're up 2k gold. Right. So, who's continuing who back in the uh, mid lane here? Kuro. Able to snowball away. It's going to hit on both heroes. The mech's going to come through from mind control. He's fine. And now, XY in a terrible position will get fissured out. The kill will go to, looks like, mind control. PA, where, where did she go? She really greedy items. For example, Ice 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 has went for the Helmet Dominator instead of rushing the straight blink. I understand this is one of his favorite items, and he micro these creeps very well, but if you want to fight early, Blink is the way to go back in the jungle. XY going to get caught. The spike's going to be good. That is a Ravage. Here comes Ice 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 on the back line, but there is no support. The mech will come back up here, and where's the RP? It's available. Oh. The Echo Slam a little bit better here, and the RP never got out here, but here comes the Casket looking pretty good. Jab won't be able to find his fourth kill in the game, but gets blocked out by the Ice Shards. They get two with Matumba Man's help, and that is a four to one engagement. There is no way for him to find that initiation. It sort of speaks to what you know the panel was talking about, where you need those other heroes, as XY is going to be able to find GH, the Vendetta out as well. Blinding Blind light a little Ooh. bit late. They can't quite connect with that mix stun, but with Black here as well, they're going to be able to keep GH alive snowball? for the moment. Trying to find him. the snowball save is going to be there. And now maybe they can find a little bit more oh charge. Oh my god. Why? And they turn it back around. GH lives again. Kuro now has been watching faces play. I mean, the plus side that you could say is that they do scale incredibly well into the late game. It's that's just, true. How do you deal right now with mind control? How do you deal with these heroes running at you? There's going to be a skewer away and trying to find a kill potentially. RPTP. And doesn't end up mattering. Oh, that feels so bad. But he needs to make every single gang count. Let me tell you, Lone Druid is going to be one of the harder ones to count. I think they're trying to bait out the uh, the Savage oh, War right oh, now. Observer, get up there! They're going on him! All right, they're going what on top. Savage War has been cast. Jab now blinks on the top lane, going on Matumba Man. Matumba Man will get cast as well. Hits the Impale. Nicely done for the kill here. Faceless. Four man ganks. Oh, well, maybe more. Kuro in a little bit of trouble now. Jabs. They're going to oh. be able to crit him all the way to death. Nuts now getting ran down by Mind Control. They get the Spike Carapace off as well to interrupt the chase coming. And maybe they can actually do this. It's so hard to kill off Mind Control at this point. Yeah. They're just going to have to let Nuts die in the woods and create as much space as possible. Yeah, good job not going in. Of course, he does have the Blink Finish. Only level 1 Echo Slam at the moment, but level 2 is uh, soon coming. All right, GH halfway to Ags, a little bit more than that. You have XY that's sort of chasing him down here. They get the impale off as well. Jabs does have another dagger to <laughs> throw in a second. Looking for it, they find the kill. Oh man, that, that one hurt. They one big RP with PA and Slark on top of everybody. 
Uh, but either way, man, oh, man, GH can... might be actually picked up on the back line here. They burned him down. The mech's gonna be there. Jab does have the BKB available. It looks like he will not be activating just yet. There's a BKB activation. Big crit comes through. They get enough Some scans going out here. TP got canceled by a good impale on the bottom side, so the mech would not be here for this fight. And look at how aggressive Jab is playing. He's just playing between tower finds GH. Where's the kill? Waits out the... Oh, look at that. Just doesn't, gone and doesn't wait out anything. Just kills him. Kuro trying to run up in the snowball, but they're going to chase him down as well. Walrus Punch. I don't know if it's going to be enough. That's a double for Jabs now, but Matumba Man has shown up. Can they do anything else here? The answer is no. Liquid scare off the rest of Faceless. As they ended up losing two. And maybe more as well off the back of that. Good blink away. That was a close to death. Yep, they caught him. Very well controlled team fight here by Faceless. They understand that 24 minutes in, daytime push with Axe. You got the Radiance online. This could, I mean, I would just sing Faceless' praises. They could just lose the game right here. Yeah. Well, all right. Ice Ice cutting the creep wave in the meantime. Black also cutting the creep wave. They do have backdoor protection, not disabled as of yet because they managed to get one creep up on the high ground. How is that half HP? This is so much damage from the bear. It's just impossible to deal with. They do get the spike carapace out. Jabs is there as well. He's hitting the illusion. Matumbo, man, they're not there. They're trying to bring down the rest of them here. Fine, CH. The RP is going to be able to catch on to one, but I don't know if it's nearly enough. Their stun comes out now, going to be able to contain and start to bring down that Phantom Assassin. Damage is not quite Echo there. Slam. Echo Slam Miracle! He found him, and there's going to be a double kill for Matumbo Man. Black just trying to kite away. They're still keeping him off of the tower, but now with two dead, what's the answer? That was a ten se or nine second BKB on the PA. Trades his life for Kado, but Kado just buys back. They know they want to win right now, and it's like you said the bear is doing way too much damage well okay on the back line nyx is gonna get picked off here and i believe that's gonna be the mid lane of raxus yeah black yeah nice 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 not nearly able to do enough they've already used rp as well and the damage oh, look at it they're just going tier. straight for the tier fours they got the they do heal. not care yeah they got the caudal heal they could do whatever they want i said this was a 25 minute push and apparently that is a 25 minute win from team liquid rp is down the pa is back in 30 seconds they're gonna try to do what they can right now but the big fissure pushing them back. They still have the Kado Illuminate healing everybody back up. Yeah, Witch Doctor ulti came out. It wasn't doing anything, just tickling them for the moment. One tier four tower is already down and everybody from Liquid is still so healthy. This is going to be the tier four going down as well. They crafted a better lineup for Faceless, but I don't even know. It's Wait. just always still so and hard to do Kado. it. If they could kill Kado, Kado walks alive at half HP. They have PA PKB back, back now. Jabs, I have to throw everything on GH. He TPs in. Gets in champ totem. Where's the BKB? Okay, pops a BKB. Goes on GH, but perhaps too little, too late. BKB will run out. The rest of the team does not carry out. They say, throne's open. Let's go. Yeah, a little bit of a misplay there by the Observer. Don't worry. It's all fine. And Dandy Kuro going to get going on, but there's the snowball. There's the catch and a lot of damage coming out. They're trying their best. The Ancient, it's still standing, but for how much longer as Matumba Man finds the double and they turn their sights again towards the Ancients. Faceless trying valiantly to pull them into a position where they can skewer them into the into the fountain. Jam's <laughs> chasing Miracle just outside, but your base, you gotta deal with your base. The Matumba Man eyes on the prize. RP, can you skewer him back to the base? No, skewer's already on cooldown. And yeah, the base is gonna go down. There is no defending that. GG comes out from Faceless. What a push. They, they knew what they needed to do, and they hit that time.